We must revive the seal tonight. That power. Give me the essences. Raiko, what say you? Do you live life of your own accord? Not right now, no. Your physical body has been sealed away by powerful magic. Then you must seek out the eight soul cords. What? Sure. When you have gathered them all, the spell will be broken. You have found it at last. Deep into the cave where a giant demon lurks to seek out a lost soul cord. Okay. Let's see what we got. That guy. Those things. Look at the mouth on that. It don't look like that in real life. Uh and then a giant one? Omni stone. Okay. Go deep into the cave where a giant Demon lurks to seek out a lost soul core. Nah, this is going to be the last one I do, I guess. He is the man who sealed away your physical body. He was once a great sorcerer of unsurpassed power. He was the only sorcerer to object to the seal. Sorcerer? Many were shocked by the violence with which he opposed. Finally, the Imperial Court exiled him beyond the seal. That was more than a thousand years ago. His name is... Michisani. All right, is it this the You know what whatever it's an upside down level the one where I fought the uh, dragon thingy Should have picked the damn Phoenix Bro. Cause I can't shoot I can I can't shoot straight with the dragon. What's up everybody? This is Yusef uh after the fact. I uh <laughs> I've already beaten the game, I'm doing the edit. This is editor Yusef. And um I was right. You know, I ran out of um I ran out of recording ribbon. The recording ribbon only goes to Three hours. That's should let you know how long I was working on this uh, one one clip. You know, but um, yeah, I was right. Uh, going back and getting the Phoenix was the the answer to this one. And as a matter of fact, this stage specifically, um, it was the the stage that I that I uh, f um, used to to uh, win the whole the whole game like power up my character to max level because i mean it had everything it had 
bad guys, and then at the end it had a, a supreme bad guy who wasn't too hard to beat if you knew how to beat him. All, all the bad guys actually had that whole thing. When when I go back and I, I look at um, the way I was supposed to take them all out, you know, it was way more easier to power up and fight these guys when I had the right tool. Now, I never used the uh, butterfly magic, but I used the dragon to great use and the uh, phoenix to great use, but I didn't really use the phoenix till I encountered these, these small corridors, you know. I also went back to a couple of them and, uh, and found it way more easy sniping people from a elevated area with the Phoenix because you could like charge it up and blast them. Or also you could, uh, you have the ability to blast a fully powered spell if you do a three hit combo, right? It seems like, um, the weak buttons, the weak slashes aren't really worth that much in this game but to set up the power moves, right? So if you were to do a power move all by itself, it would take like forever to uh, charge up and he'd do and it wouldn't give you that much effect. However, if you linked it with a combo, it would still only have the same effect, but you would be able to, to keep the other person from interrupting your power move using the combo. I had the same deal with the magic spells. Three hits. You hit the magic button and you shoot out like a strong magic spell. It's, it was all right. I've never seen people do it like that before, but yeah. Anyway, this area specifically was interesting because of all the the little mountains and everything. Couldn't tell if you had killed the guys or not. <laughs> so, so you were basically like moving through thinking you finished. And, and then another person pops up or some junk like that. It was very weird. Um, so I played this level three times, uh, maybe four, I don't know. But the first couple of times I ran into the, the problem with the uh, dragon uh, getting, the dragon spell getting clipped on the walls and then extinguishing itself. That's why I needed to use the phoenix. Um, but the first time I went through, it took me a while to kill everybody in this area and the next areas as well. And, um, once I got to the, um, main bad guy who, who you'll see, he was, he was like a hundred percent, uh, shooting. Like you, you could only touch him by shooting him. And, uh, since, since my magic, see right here, I'm even, I'm past... I'm past the middle on my magic right here, right? So that's what made it scary. And killing guys brings your magic back, but not not anywhere close to where it needs to be. Anyway, I'll shut up for a second. It's really interesting. You put in a homing. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? <laughs> so you, you uh, hit the homing button and it doesn't, it only faces you towards the guy when you strike, right? Oh no, I went the right way. Uh, who knew? There's a the guy right there, ready to uh, shoot out the business. This, uh,. Stage is really weird. I mean, I know it's the roof or anything, and I usually, when I played the first, uh, the first stages before I got swallowed up by, by, uh, what, what was his name? Kizune? Mikizune? Something like that. Once I got swallowed up by his, his, uh, spell, I hadn't noticed any of the stages, the ceiling, so. Even though I want to give this this uh, from software, uh, you know, crap for reusing the same damn stages, uh, they're like completely different stages when you turn them upside down. So I guess that's all right. Like, there's nothing about this stage that gives me the feeling that I was in the other stage. Does that make sense? 
Come on, just shoot the guys. There's bullets coming from nowhere. Nowhere that I'm looking. We gotta kill the guys because I don't wanna run out of magic. So I'm really low. Afterwards, as I get powered up, like I think what I did was I went and got the uh, the third Phoenix uh, magic spell and then just like ripped all these demons a new one when I came through, you know? Killed the main bad guy like really quick and I just kept playing this stage until I maxed out. Oh, I skipped over the uh, cutscene. I'm going to have to go back and bring that in. Sorry about that, guys. kind of gets you when he ducks down the um this is weird but the reason he ducks down is because there is a conditional weapon or a conditional uh accessory you get by beating this stage very quickly and um once he ducks down he's gonna eat up your time you probably failed the mission already see there he goes no problem Oh, see, I rose a level there. I mean, there were a couple of places that I kept going back, but once I passed this this level and went back to do the, uh, the um, what is it, the accessory hunt or whatever, it was pretty clear that that was the, the best stage in the game for, for leveling up. You fight a bunch of enemies. The stronger you get, the quicker you dispatch of them. And then you beat up on a, a boss and you get paid. Like, I, I leveled up super fast. So, get some. Anyway, let me uh, return it to its regularly, regularly scheduled. <laughs> me talking. Peace. Okay, y'all, this is uh, Yusef, Dad's Free Time Let's Plays. Of course, you know that. And this is like in the middle of an uh, actual <laughs> playthrough. I've already beaten the game, and uh, I realized that I was missing a spot um, in which I went on my own little pilgrimage to defeat everything <laughs> and get, get all my, uh, get my characters, like, health up to superhero and all that. So... One thing I wanted to show you was that the uh, the walkthrough on GameFAQs informed me that, hold on one second, move the mic. Walk fact, walk, the walkfac on game throughs. The walkthrough on GameFAQs informed me that the, the um, centipede that just kinda like left at the floating tombs. Wow, I went a little far, didn't I? The centipede that left at the floating tombs was actually defeatable. I just didn't wasn't strong enough for it last time. So um, let me see if I can find it. Here it is, floating tomb. A holy graveyard of sorcerers. Expel the giant insect that has taken up residence within. Now that I'm way OP, it shouldn't take that long. But I just at least wanted to show you, because this is the moment I, I went back and killed him anyway. Beyond the seal, a graveyard floats above the castle. Yeah, we get it. Oh, 
Oh, it still has uh, all the beatdown scars from the last time. That's interesting. You dare disturb me, worm? You shall not leave here alive. That's one of the interesting things about this game. It saves all the map data, but doesn't save the damn game, which I always think is weird. I didn't, I didn't hit the right, I wanted to do that. Ouch. Damn you, mortal. I should have just shot, I just should have just smacked him. I'm willing to bet at this point that Mi Mizukane, I think his name is, was her husband. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that was the, uh, that was that stage. And I believe the Inner Sanctum was the next stage that I was supposed to handle. Which means I need to change my, my equipment. Because there was only one sword that could take take out the the uh, beast at the inner sanctum and that was the sword of binding so yeah go ahead and handle this with utmost efficiency let me see it was this one right yeah there we go inner sanctum did I uh yeah okay okay we're good Deep within a castle is a seemingly immortal demon. It possesses a soul cord. Yeah, sure. I don't know why it's taking me so long to hit that button. But yeah, so... Um... Yeah, I realized that I didn't. I had like a little spot missing. I I spent along like another couple of hours just charging up my stuff. Nobody knows what happened to Michisane after being banished. However, there is one thing that is certain: he lives on, transformed by his desire for revenge. Yeah, sure. Very vague on this story. Like they want it, it's like they want to have a story, but they don't have much to go with. They're not even trying. He's just standing right there in the broken area. The demon that dwells here has one of the eight soul cords. Search well. <clears throat> I don't need to search very well because I know exactly where he is. Oh, he's right there in the middle. Where you at, boy? Perhaps you cannot defeat this one with blades, Riker. Dude, whatever. See, that was the thing with the... I'm going to leave him for a second and show you guys. There was a back area... This is the same uh, spot that we had. There's a back area that I didn't even know about right here. Which I had torn up already. But it had... Um, and there were bad guys in here. It had... Uh, uh, oh my goodness. No thank you. I want to die too much. I hate this whole hitting the wall. It had swords there. Like a sword. And that was really cool. 
but you have to get the sword and obviously get the hell out, because, yeah. Anyway, I know he's back here, right? There he is. Ouch. That hurt, dude. Give me my soul cord, bitch. So yeah, that guy gave me a lot of problems. Okay. Whatever. So yeah, that guy gave me a lot of problems because they didn't tell you about the sword. And even in the walkthrough that I looked at, it gave you this whole, like paragraph long how this guy is easy to defeat and then the person forgot to mention that you needed to change up on your swords because apparently the soul binding sword was the only one but anyway uh, I believe that's the only thing I forgot to do so I'll return you back all right so I finally got sick and tired of all this crap went back and maxed out my character so I don't have to do any more backtracking to continue this story. I know if my character gets my ass, its ass whooped, it's simply because I suck at this game. Because the game is uh, from, from Software, the makers of Dark Souls and all those other games that are difficult to, uh, to play, which I, I can see the comparisons for sure. Um, I should expect it to be a little bit harder, you know. I saw from software and I didn't quite register what it was. And uh so there we go. Anyway, I've got it all set now, so let's see if we can run through the rest of these. I got nine more chapters left. So let's go. Let me see. Hold on a second. Let me see. I got new weapons, by the way. Um, I'm going to try these out a little bit. They build up my attack. Uh, this one, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know what, what stage I was using to level up in the, the game review. Or I could just tell you now. Um... I was using this Phoenix Staff because it has a lot of, uh, it's maxed out on magic power. And I was going to, ah, oh, fudge, what, what was the name of the, um, the stage? Poison. Oops. Cleared stages. So I'm up to stage 20, right? And the last one I played, you guys remember, was with the soul cord against uh, that stupid lion, right? So I went to this one, the Golem's Ravine and the giant demon, which was that huge, well, I'm going to just call it an apostrophe monster because it just looks like an apostrophe. And how I had to fight those other ones, I, I put, I got the Phoenix, uh, staff which was a wand and i equipped the magical phoenix thing and i ran through there and once i got the hang of it i just shot everything really quick it took me five minutes and i went up um i went up levels really fast that way like i had three levels left and i did it in two tries so that's uh, definitely a good place to to uh, level up your character if you want to max it out. But before then, I uh, took the advice of the the game and went to the ancient capital to defeat uh, High Priest Joshi. You know the guy who screams, "You shall not pass." And I used the dragon, the dragon spell, and I kind of sat in the corner where he couldn't hit me. You know, like just basically right next to him. And, and put a pillar between him and me and I shot out the dragon spell um which which uh killed those little skeleton mages things but the um they would continuously respawn so I was able to just kind of hang there and level up that way so that's how I got all my levels 
up on the characters. I didn't do too much with the money because it seemed important for a second, but it totally wasn't because if I was trying so hard to level up over and over again, eventually I would have gotten enough money to do something with. Does that make sense? Anyway, um, once I got a couple of weapons that I liked, then getting extra weapons just seemed like whatever. Although, um, with the 20th stage, what was it called? The, um, where I had to fight the Mist Lioness or whatever. Uh, behind the Mist Lioness in the very back room to the right, there was a, a um, big old staff, and I'm glad I got that one. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, whatever. Anyway, guys ready to get back on it? A poison sea of red. Protect the purifying. It's a little crazy because I, I, I got some accessories too, but the only two that I'm really interested in using is the uh, the uh, one thing that makes your attack stronger and the one thing that... A man filled with sin cannot hope to live in peace. Free from his own guilt. And that was the problem Michisane faced. What answer did he find after all this time? I wonder. This is where the dead go to wash away their memories. The Crimson Sea. I will send my guardian spirit for your protection. It shall clear the sea's poisonous vapors for you. Guard it well. I thought it was supposed to be for my protection. You must not leave the guardian spirit's side. Oh, okay. It shall be your guide to the soul. Um, the dragon power thing was pretty helpful. But the, uh... I probably could use the dragon one now, actually. <laughs> the Phoenix is cool because it's a straight shot. And, I mean, it splits into three and that's fine, but... I need to get these. I don't know why, but... I don't know what they're for. I forgot. What's this over here? Unlimited power. I'm getting my uh, heart, my uh, magic drained. I'll take that. All right. So far, so good. What the hell? Chase it. There we go. I forgot I can't do the smash attack on the bridge because the bridge will break.
Come on. What is that, a fish or something? Is that a dead fish? Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, come on, bruh. Well, at least he's coming this way. Come on, really? It's gonna die, huh? Well, that didn't help. So I guess I gotta try that again. That was horrible. I think I made it. Unless somebody jumps out from here. Nah, son. Come on. Did I make it? Oh, thank goodness. Man, that was hard. They were launching all sorts of surprise attacks on you and shit. Anyway, I didn't know an escort mission was gonna uh, kick my ass so much. Like I did my due diligence and and uh got stronger but then you're gonna leave me with somebody who's weak as hell you know at least i was able to destroy the people i needed to destroy fast <laughs>